Today, we'll be discussing aspects of Gestalt psychology, what it is and the impacts it can have on us. I whipped together a few friends to help with the demonstrations today. Meet Thomas and Malcolm. Say hi, guys. Surprising as it may sound, I've already introduced you to the basics of Gestalt psychology in those first few seconds. Don't see it? Allow me to clarify. Thomas, can you give us a wave? Keep going. Perfect. Now, if I've done my job correctly, you should be seeing Thomas moving his arms in a fairly continuous motion. This is an example of the overarching principle of Gestalt psychology, the idea that we perceive reality as a whole rather than a series of disconnected pieces. In this case, your brain perceives continuous motion where there technically is none. You hopefully aren't aware of the dozen or so individual images I'm looping through to create this illusion of motion, or the countless adjustments and mishaps that occurred between frames. You just see a moving arm. All right, Thomas, you can stop now. Well, now that we've established the characteristics of Gestalt psychology, let's move on to another topic they're fairly well known for, problem solving. You guys ready for the demos? Gestaltists introduced us to the concept of Einstellung, or the mental set, how our beliefs and assumptions about a problem influence how we try to solve it. One way to demonstrate the impact of Einstellung is through a phenomenon called functional fixedness, which is our tendency to think only of an object's conventional functions. For instance, in a test called the candle problem, participants were given these materials and were instructed to mount the candle to the wall. The correct way to solve the problem is to tack the box to the wall and place the candle inside the box. However, with the tacks inside, the box was implicitly given a purpose, and so very few people managed to solve it. In subsequent tests where the box was placed alongside the tacks, participants were less likely to perceive the box as a simple container. They rather saw it as part of the provided materials and were therefore much more likely to solve the problem. Thomas, you cheater. Well, regardless of how you came to that solution, ahem, <clears throat> it's hopefully clear how the principles of Gestalt psychology influence how we perceive and interact with the world. Thanks for watching!